In a previous video, we had a look to see how we could update the custom, uh, update the Fluent Forms fields using a custom post type. So we would basically here edit the post and we would then simply submit that edit and that would update the form. And you'll see there the form has been updated to 50,000. What we're going to do in this one is take it one step further and as you can see we can now look at publishing or putting a post into draft. Now to show you the difference between between those if we have a look here so as a um, as the author Bruce Young I'm able to see the publicly published post but I can't see anybody else's posts except my own in the draft posts. Similarly, if I was to head over here to um, this post, you'll see that this is a published post. And if I was to head here to the archive, you'll see that I can see those two posts. And now that I'm the tester and I'm going to change this post into, po into a draft view. So at the moment, I have no draft posts. I'm going to simply open up that post, scroll down, change the status to draft, submit the value. And now when I navigate back to my archive view, you'll see that that post now appears in the draft posts. And if I go and have a look at the posts here, you'll see previously the add new post from tester was published. I refresh the page it's no longer visible but because I'm not the author I can't edit it similarly I'm not able to edit the first product as the user tester I can only edit the post that I've created now to, to show you that setup in oxygen you'll see that we have two sections the first section we have is the normal display it's an easy post and the query that we've used is the default query because we're on the archive for product tests which is a custom post type then in our second section we have um, content that's only available to logged in users so the first condition that we've set here we've set the condition to say that user logged in equals true then this will be visible but we then go one step further and we say that the posts that are visible here in the easy posts um, the query there is an advanced query and what we say in that query is that the author, author must be in and we've created a custom function just to pull in the um, author IDs and we'll have a look at that now so it checks to make sure that the author is, ID is, is also the same as the person who as the user logged in then we make sure that it's the draft status and we also make sure that it's the post type product test. So to see how we get that ID of the uh, user that's currently logged in. So in the previous video we created a function that just checked to make sure that only the author could edit the post and that the author ID and the user ID is the same and if they were the same you'd be allowed to edit the post in this one we just get the current user ID and we return that user ID and basically what we're saying here in our query is that if the author ID is the same as the user that's, that's logged in's ID then show the post by that author and that's how we get it to only show the posts of the currently logged in author and not of all the other authors so to show you how to set this up we're going to do this all from scratch so what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to delete that section and save and then what we're also going to do is just go and have a look and see how we created that option to select whether the post should be a draft or published so to do that I'm going to head over here to custom fields and you'll see that in my product tests fields I created a new uh, select 
I knew select option, a radio button option, and I call that publish and draft. So now that is essentially the status of the posts. What I then do is I went over to my forms and I looked for the form to update the post, which was this one over here. And what I said is when the post loads, load those values and the post status here at the moment what we'll do is we're going to change that to the post status field and we'll update that and what we also said is that when we save the post um, the post status will be that post status field so now what happens is that when we editing the post so let's have a look at this post and we scroll down you'll see that at the moment the post is in the draft status and now when I select the publish which will automatically change to the publish and the reason that it does that um, is purely because I've set that the post status should be the same as the custom field post status and when it loads it automatically loads the post status as it is in the custom field so to test that what we'll do is we'll head over here to um, all our products we'll refresh that list and you'll see now that as the author I have two posts so I'm going to go to view product tests I'm going to I have no products at the moment that are in the draft mode so what I'm going to do now is update the oxygen template to show the draft posts so what we'll do to make it a little bit quicker is I'm just going to duplicate that component and then what I'm going to do is set the first condition to say that this should only be visible to people who are logged in so the first condition then is user logged in is equal to true right that's done so that's the first part completed now what we need to do is head over to the easy post and in the easy post set the correct um, author so I don't want to see anybody else's drafts except my own so we'll head over to query and we'll head over to advanced and now we're going to set that query so under advanced now we're going to create our own so I'm going to click on edit query add query parameter and the first thing I want to do is make sure that the author can only see their own posts so I'm going to say author in I'm going to add a value and now the value is I'm going to check that the author's ID is the same as the user that's logged in and to do that I'm going to use a PHP function and that was the PHP function that we have here and it's a very simple function it simply states current user ID equals get current user ID and then we return the current user ID so now I'm just going to enter the function name in oxygen there's nothing else that I need to do and I'm going to say insert so now that's going to check and make sure that the current author is the same as the user that's logged in then I'm going to add the next parameter and I'm going to make that post type because I only want to do it for the custom post type that I'm looking at the moment and in my case it's called product test and the next thing that I want to do is I want to make sure that it's only the post status of draft so post status and the value there will be draft so with that in place we'll close that we're going to save that and now when I refresh the page we will see a new section below this one but it will only show draft posts now I don't have any draft posts at the moment so I'm going to head over to this post and I'm going to change the status to draft now I'm going to head back to the list and now you'll see that I have my draft post here and what I'm also going to do just to make it easier to see is that section there I'm going to change the background color so 
Let's change that background color to a darker color so I immediately can see that that's the draft section. And then I'm just going to add a quick title here. And we'll call that draft posts. We don't need such a big heading. We're going to drop that down. Then we'll move that up there. And then we're just going to center the title. Save. And now when I head over here to my posts and I refresh, you'll see that I see the public post and now immediately I can see that these are my draft posts. Let's have a look as a different user. So here I am the user tester. So let's refresh the page. Now I can see the public post, the published post by Bruce Young. And here is my draft post. So I'm going to head in here to my draft post. You'll see it's marked as draft. I'm now going to publish that post, submit. Right, so now if I was to go and have a look at the list of posts in the back end, you'll see that I now have a published post. And if I look, if I go and view those, you'll see that it is now in the published view. And if I head back here, you will see that when I refresh, I have those two. And so that's how easy it is to create um, published and draft posts. I hope you found that interesting and thank you for watching.